How's it going, Instagram crew? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing great. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, of course. And it's, what time is it, honey? It's about 9? 7.50. Oh, 7.50. I don't even know what time it is. It's 7.50 p.m. Hmm. Just want to do a quick little video here for you guys. Just a little quick reminder. Um, this is a question that keeps popping up. I got my Starbucks with me. It's a question that keeps popping up for artists, right? I've been getting this question since, I don't know, since I remember. The question is the following. How long did it take you to do that, right? How long did it take you to create that piece of artwork, that painting? How long? People tend to ask this question. This is not usually collectors. This is usually other artists. Sometimes it's collectors, but usually collectors that are new new to the collecting game. So, you know, they're they're maybe they don't understand what the value of art. And it's our job to guide them through it and, and kind of tell them, you know, not kind of. Be very clear and specific and as much information as possible to tell them why our artwork is valued as such and such, right? The question always comes up, though, and I imagine... From based on my experience that a lot of it has to do with people who are also artists or who are uh, quote-unquote amateur artists people that are starting out and, and creating artwork and uh, and they seem to ask this question I believe many times many times not always but many times because they want to place a value on your artwork okay they want to place the value on your artwork and usually the question is again is uh, how long did it take you to do that and if if you if by asking that they're kind of saying let me see where the value is right how long did it take you how long did it take you how long did it take you it's always a question the question keeps popping up this question has popped up since i was like 14 years old and making it paintings they're measuring as well yeah without realizing that you paint like 14 hours a day right so but but here's the thing that's my wife talking in the background here's the thing guys coming to your defense coming to you it's coming to my defense my wife my <laughs> wife fights my battles <laughs> here's the thing guys uh don't let people uh place the value for you okay people because people don't know the value of your artwork they try to place the value for you they try to ask you well how long did it take you and that that way they can there's a dozen that way that way the they can place where to what they can see where to place you right they can see where to place you. Or if it took you three hours, then it should be worth, I don't know, how much do you charge per hour? It's stupid, guys. It's very stupid. Now, you don't want to tell collectors this, right? Because, because you don't want to make them feel bad for not understanding. But many times, artists do this to each other, okay? Artists tend to do this to each other, where they ask you, how long did it take you? And then you are sort of uh, shamed into being like, well, it only took me, you know, it only took me three hours, or, or, uh, or maybe you're shamed into working more on the piece where you don't have to, and people would probably shame you to to be like, well, you know, I wanted to 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 be more laborious because if it's more laborious, right? And don't get me wrong, some work, some people, some artists work laborious artwork. If that's your gig, that's your gig. But if that's not your gig, don't be shamed into working laborious pieces just because someone else is trying to shame you into it. This is lack of understanding. This is because they don't know. Okay. We are not digging ditches, guys. We are artists. Now, there's nothing wrong with digging ditches. If that's what you do for a living, awesome. I've done it. There's nothing wrong with it. The thing is that we're not... What I'm trying to say is that we're not charging per hour. We're not charging per labor. It's not a, it's not a labor cost. No. Artists don't charge that way. We charge experience, market value, and vision. Those are the three main ways that we charge as artists. Market value, why? Because the more famous you are, of course your stuff is going to be worth more, right? If you're not famous yet, then your experience, okay, and your vision, how, how, how you've come to create artwork, right? Because you may have a lot of years of experience, but not yet created uh, concise, right? What I mean is that you've been painting for 50 years, but only like every weekend, and you've never really worked on it. Right to create to create boys. It's really it's boys and vision. It's pretty much the same thing. As, as other people refer to it as boys, other people refer some people refer to it as vision. And uh, antique creativity. <laughs> oh, unique creativity. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally unique creativity. It's the boys. 
uh, I, I, there's different ways of calling it. You know, unique creativity, boy's vision. It is your art, right? Your your genesis qua, the thing that you've put together. Sorry, guys, that the camera keeps like moving every time I move, but I'm just I, I'm a moving type of guy. <laughs> I'm energetic that way. So, again, guys, people ask me this question, and when I was younger, I didn't know how to answer it because I didn't know better. As I've gotten some years under my belt, some experience. I know how to answer this question. When someone tells me, how long did it take you to do that? Very easy from the top of my mind. It took me 20 years and 20 minutes. Okay, that's simple. People see that I paint very quick and a lot of people try to shame me into it. Be like, oh, but you did it so fast. Why are you charging so much? If you guys haven't, haven't uh, heard that Picasso story or read about it, uh, I recommend you to do it. To go find out about that, that Picasso story where, where he sketched something really quick for a person that recognized him, that he was Picasso, this lady, and then he charged her, I don't know, some whatever Picasso, because Picasso was a brand name by then, right? And she's like, how come so much if it only took you a few seconds, a few, I don't know, like a minute? And he said, uh, yeah, but it was a lifetime, right? It's a lifetime to get there. It's the same thing. Like, like I'm not charging people 20 minutes of labor. That's stupid. You know, hard work doesn't get charged that way. I am charging what I have experienced in my, you know, my years of experience, the market, how much, how much people have paid me over. And then I, you average that, you know, you work on your, you, you average yourself, right? To see what people are paying you and your uniqueness, right? Because you come to a place where you have created something kind of unique or very unique, whatever that is. And your voice, your, your vision. So again, guys, don't get, don't let people shame you into that because a lot of people, a lot of times artists do it to each other. They're like, you're charging what? You're charging four grand for that and it only took you one hour? Yeah, it took me one hour right now, right? But it took me 20, 30, 40 years, five years, whatever, to get there, you know? It to, to, for it to take me only 20 minutes. This is my answer to people who ask me this over and over because they ask me almost daily. <laughs> how long did it take you? Because they're, they're what, what, what I feel like they're really trying to say is how come it's worth that if it only took you you know, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to create. You look, if you're a shitty artist, you're a shitty artist. And if you spent three years working on something, the painting's still going to be shitty, right? There's no doubt about that. But if you've worked on your craft, right? You've worked on your craft and you've, you've, you've mastered your, 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 your craft, your boys. I'm not trying to say that, you're, that you become Michelangelo or whatever. No, your thing. And you spent 20 years, you know working on your thing or 10 years or five years or two years, whatever it is, but you've worked on your craft. If it takes you five minutes, it takes you five minutes, right? It's going to look good. I mean, just think about it. If let's call it, uh, I don't know, just for the, for the sake of the example, John Singer Sargent creates a, a, uh, I don't know, a sketch portrait, right? It takes him two minutes. Let's say that we don't know he's John Singer Sargent. We just have no idea. We just, we just, we, we, we're valuing the experience, right? John Singer Sargent, not talking about brands because brands is a whole other thing, right? Let's not even talk about his brand. Let's say we don't know him and he's in front of us and he's creating something and it takes him two minutes to create a portrait sketch, right? And then you take me when I first started because <laughs> I'm good now. But when I first started, I didn't know anything about that. You take me, and it doesn't matter if it, it, it I could have spent, <laughs> I could have spent the whole day trying to create a portrait. It's not going to look anywhere near as complete, as well cooked, right? As well put together, maybe as realistic or whatever you want, whatever you want to slap there, as something that John Singer Sargent would, would come up with, right? In, in a minute or two. In five minutes, in whatever, you know, the guy was fast, just like Delacroix. Delacroix was very fast. A lot of people don't think that. A lot of people don't know that, that these guys were very quick because they were, they were, they were quick because they were good. They started becoming faster. And that's one of the, one of the, and it is gearing off to, from my rant, but one of the, one of the, what do you call it? Presence, right? One of the gifts from the gods is that if you practice, you become quick. If you practice, you start becoming, you start becoming faster. You start, you start, you start owning that, right? You start becoming good at it and you start owning it. Whatever your thing is, maybe you do jewelry, maybe you do songs. Now I paint, other people do photography. You already know what to do. It's like kids playing video games, you know? You always, I don't know if you've seen, they always beat you. 
I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a gamer, unless you're a gamer, but if you're not a gamer, they always beat you because why? Because they practice with it. They know what's coming next, right? They already know what they're preparing for what's coming next. They already know, I, I remember who, who talked about this, Tony, Tony Rollins talked about this. A kid will always beat you in video games. Why? It's not because they're smarter or this or that. No, it's because they practice. So they already know what's coming next. They got good at it. They got fast, proficient, prolific at it, right? It's the same thing with our, our craft, guys. Don't let people shame you into how long did that take you? Do it if it, look at the Kooning, look at Picasso. If it takes 10 minutes, it takes you 10 minutes. If it takes you, if it takes you 10 years and you're bad, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad painting, uh, you know, whatever. If it takes you, I don't know, the whole day, and, 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 and you're a good artist, maybe that's your gig, you know, I don't know. My gig is quick. I, I create fast paintings because that's the way I've, I've always created that way. I've, it's always been my thing. It's just that now I've done it for over 20 years. So now I got my, you know, my, my shit's tight. I got good at it. So my answer, and I, re and I recommend this answer, guys. If you, if you guys don't have an answer when people ask you, especially collectors be gentle on them because many times they don't know. But when people try to ask you, especially other artists, or they try to diminish, right, your work. They're like, how long did that take you? Very simple, guys. Look. If you've been painting for 10 years, say 10 years, 10 years and 24 hours if it took you a day. 10 years and 2 hours. That's what I say anyways. I say 20 years and 20 minutes. Why? Because it's the truth. If it wouldn't if I would have not practiced for 20 years, there's no way I could have done that in 20 minutes. Exactly. That's the bottom line, right? If I could post 100 emoji to this video, I would cuz I agree with that. So there you have it, guys. Uh, just a little power to you guys, okay? Just a little power. Uh, don't let people shame you into how you create, how long you take to create, the type of work that you do. None of that because that's yours. It's the way you do things. Next that time somebody tries to shame you, tell them, tell them quickness is my wife. superpower. Yeah, if you're quick, if you're if you create large work and it's and it's minimalist, if it's simplistic, if you're if you're like Jackson Pollock and you throw paint and people say, "Oh man, I could do that." Yeah, but I don't see you doing it, you know? Like <laughs> it's as simple as that. I'm the one doing it. I'm the one who spent 30 years doing this. Easier said you know? than done. It's easy, everything's always easier said than done. You know, people people seem to 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 diminish always like Picasso. Oh, Picasso, he could paint, but he did that. Yeah, but in the 1920s, imagine how effing hard it must have been the criticism of the public to, 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 to get something and distort it, you know? We don't even like showing ourselves in YouTube. Now imagine a whole, whole countries like talking crap about you, you know, if you were, if you were Picasso, saying you, you blah, blah, blah. They used to say about the, his painting of the Demoiselle, the, 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 the Big uh, painting he did of the prostitutes. Uh, uh, what was it called? The Mosile something. I don't know. That big painting. You guys, everybody knows that painting. I just don't know the name. Uh, um, the, something d'Avignon. Yeah. Yeah. Something like Damas d'Avignon. Yeah. I said it in Spanish. Uh, so, I I imagine they used to tell him that he was going to hang himself behind that painting. They were going to find him hanging behind that painting because, because it was so horrific. It was so bad. You know, he was like the Kim Kardashian of his time. You know, it's easier said than done, you know. People are people like to criticize, but really, you don't know what it is to be on the other side. You don't know what it is to be the first guy dripping paint. You can do that now. I can do that. I can try to play impressionist, right? But I don't know what it was from everybody so used to Courbet painting in uh, uh, realism, right? This This very polished, realistic work. And all of a sudden, I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to be Monet. I'm going to paint Impressionism. They, they, these guys must have taken an ass kick, you know, a beating from the public, right? It was difficult for them. It was difficult emotional. It was, it was, it was difficult uh, this, you know, socially, right? They were shunned away. They had to do their own exhibits because, no, that's trash. We don't want that here, right? So, again, people tried to shame you into stopping, into, into why are you doing that? You know, people, people used to call Monet's paintings unfinished. There's books about that, right? How, uh, who was the cat who used to tell him? I think Corbett was the guy who used to tell him, your paintings are, are overworked and unfinished. You know, that was, I was like the worst, I was like the worst criticism because Corbett was good. He was fast. He was able to create paintings fast, right? Because he, he had to develop a style. Monet was barely starting out. He was still a young book. So Corbett, if I'm not mistaken, it was Corbett. 
uh, criticized his works, right? He was like, dude, your paintings are unfinished and overworked. Like, completely amateurish, horrible work. Manet used to say that Renoir had no talent. He used to say that boy has no talent. You know? Manet used to, used to say that, right? Uh, well, I don't know if he used to say that, but he said it once at least. <laughs> to Monet. To Monet. Uh, so people try to shame you into stopping, into not doing it, into why are you doing it so fast? Why are you doing it so big? Why is it so minimalist? Why are you charging that if it only took you 20 minutes to make? Do it. It took me 20 minutes because it, the only, the only reason it took me 20 minutes is because I spent 20 years making sure that one day it was going to take me 20 minutes and it wasn't going to, and it was going to, and it was going to be good. You know, it wasn't going to be shitty. You could spend three years working on something, and if you haven't developed it, it might still be shitty, right? So, anyways, maybe three years is a stretch, but let's say you don't know how to do something. You could spend the whole day. You could spend months doing it, and if you don't know how to do it, it's still going to not be good. You know, it's not it's not going to come out unless, unless you worked on it and you practiced it, right? So, anyways, I beat this horse. I make sure to kill this horse. If you guys like what I'm saying, if you guys found any value in this rant, please give me some hearts. I live with hearts. I thrive with hearts. Hearts, 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 Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Tag a an, art, an artsy friend of yours if you guys like any of the stuff I'm, I'm talking about here. I talk about marketing. I talk about art rants. I talk about... Uh, tomorrow we have Cafecito Thursday. My wife and I are going to be sharing a little coffee. We're coffee drinkers in this house. We're going to be talking about uh, uh, the partnerships, how partnerships work together, you know, what, how, how we do things, how, how we stay connected and, and how we make sure to work together and thrive, right, as a partnership. Maybe you're not married. Maybe, maybe you don't have a, a partner, right, a romantic or a, a, a special someone, right? Uh, maybe you have a friend I don't know you work with. Either way, hang out. You know, uh, tomorrow at noon, because it's so important to have other people helping you guys. It's so important to have other people uh, around you that are rooting for you, right? Not people saying, are you sure you're going to do that? Are you sure you can pull that off? You ain't going to pull it off. You don't want people like that. We already have enough people like that in life. You need someone to be like, hell yeah, you can do it. Of course. And you know how? You can do it like this. You can do it like that. Awesome. I'm going to help. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and help you in whatever way I can and when I can or whatever. You know, I don't know. You need committed that are cool with your with your vision and that also uh, maybe they use it as a vehicle as well to get to their vision. Right. Because it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. Uh, don't get it wrong. It's not. Creating artwork is not just for me. It's for the whole family. It's for this. It's for that. It's a vehicle. It's it's not it's not just a personal thing. It's personal, and at the same time, it's not right because I'm trying to take care of my family, and my family by jumping in and helping me is also taking care of me and taking care of themselves. So it's a mutual thing, right? We we it's like it's like washing your face. You know, you do it with both hands, right? You first wash your hands, and then you wash your face. So anyways, that's what the partnership is about. I'll leave you guys with that tomorrow at noon mountain time. And again, don't let people try to shame you for whatever, however you create your work. You create your work the way you do. And that's your gig. That's your vision. That's your, you know, your artistic, your thing, right? Just make sure you practice on it. And practice on it so that way you can master it, right? You're not, it's not, it's, 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 the, the whole idea of mastering something is not for you to turn into Rembrandt or whatnot. No, turn into your Rembrandt, turn into your Dali, your, your, your insight, your thing, not to try to be, I wish I could paint like Monet, F that, I don't care, that dude's dead, that dude's gone. It's me, right? I'm trying to become the best me possible. So anyways, that's the way I see it. Thank you so much. I mean, I respect Monet, but I'm not trying to become him. Take care. Till next time. Take care. Till next time.